What's going on guys, I'm Danny and thank you for checking out my channel. How's everybody doing today? So in this video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, something that we're not used to doing on this channel. Usually you guys know me here for physical media, uh, uh, new releases and stuff like that, uh, Blu-rays, 4Ks, but this time around, I'm gonna be doing a product review. I'm gonna be going over a mini portable projector. I'm actually really excited about it. So if you enjoy videos like this and you enjoy this one specifically, please show me some love. Let me know if I'm doing it right. If you like it, leave a likes, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'd really appreciate it guys. I got my hands on the Vankayo Leisure 410 mini portable LED projector and I'm really excited to show this off to you guys because this opened up like a whole new world for me. I'm going to unbox it for you guys to show you what's in the packaging, what you guys get in the box itself and uh, and then I'm also going to uh, show you guys the menu, the setup, some shots of the screen to show you the quality and a little bit of the sound audio as well and then just give you my overall thoughts. And one other thing I want to show you guys, uh, I didn't have a projector screen so I was able to grab this portable, also portable indoor outdoor projector screen. This is a 100 inch projector screen. I'm also going to show you guys uh, what's in the package with this as well. So really excited to get into this and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. Now, a couple things to note, guys. The uh, the Leisure 410, it is 1080p uh, supported, but it is native 720p, so it is not full 1080p resolution. It kind of like upscales it. I'm going to go over that with you guys. But it also, uh, it does say that it can project anywhere between 33 and 200 uh, 200 inches onto a screen. However, I only have an 100 inch screen, so uh, that's not gonna be necessary, but just wanted to give you guys a little rundown. But yeah, let's get started. Without further ado, let's get to that unboxing right now. And all right, guys, here we go. So uh, I really wanted to give you a nice up close look at uh, everything that comes in the package. Of course, this again is the uh, Vankayo Leisure 410 portable video projector. So let's just go ahead and let's give you guys a nice close up look so you have an idea of uh, exactly what you're getting and how you're getting it, how they present themselves. So let's take this bad boy out of the box and uh, right off the bat, I really, really, really like their um, their case that they gave. It's a carrying case, so you can bring this wherever you guys want. It's very nicely made. Love the coloring, the black and the gray. Very, very nice, uh, sturdy case. Uh, let's unzip this uh, to show you guys what we get inside. And uh, now, uh, one thing I will say, I already know there is something that comes with each one, but uh, they left it out of my package, unfortunately. And that here is the uh, the tripod there it's usually comes with a tripod where you can uh, connect it to the portable player and adjust the angle and everything that you guys want not 100 percent necessary but i really was looking forward to it and trying it out unfortunately i think when they uh they, there's something that they put into this package and i think that they removed that by accident and forgot to put it back in but uh, let's just go ahead and take a look here first and foremost we got a really nice uh detailed remote i did not think we were, i was going to get one i've seen other portable projectors come with very very simple remotes couple buttons here and there this one looks like it's uh well done. Um, we get your HDMI cable and we get uh, the regular, uh, oh sorry, the power cord right here and then of course the old fashioned uh, red, yellow, and white wires. And uh, uh, this comes with it as well. This may be a little adjustment uh, for the bottom of it to adjust the height or the angle as well. Let's go ahead, let's unstrap this. I like how it's sturdily held in, if that's a word. Take this plastic wrap off, which uh, I like how it was. Uh, it, it is well protected. We're going to put that over here. Again, on top here, this is the top of it. You get Decent amount of buttons, uh, your up, down, left, right, your your angle buttons, the OK button, which is the center button. You get your power on, and I guess a couple other options. Van Kyo logo, uh, here is the focus adjustment. If we look on the back, you can see the HD, uh, so I guess the HDMI cable goes right there. There's the sensor for the, uh, the remote, uh, AV cable, uh, headphone jack, uh, I could also support external uh, audio, which is cool. Turn this to the side. You get your TV port, your VGA, and uh, there is a USB. Speakers on the sides, because it is it does have its own audio speakers. And here is the front, the sensor for the remote, and of course they give a nice little uh, lens protector. The design is really kind of nice, simple, white and gray. Very, very nice. Of course, they always want me to promote and let you guys know, please do not look directly into the projector when the light is on. Super, super dangerous. But that is that, and that is really nice. One other thing that I would like to show uh, show off to you guys before Oops, sorry, before we move forward, let's take a look. It's in this box as well. Um, nice portable projector screen that they gave me to try out because they wanted me to promote this for them. And I was like, guys, I don't I, I don't have a projector screen, so I'm not sure what I would do. So they were nice enough to include one. This is a 100 inch screen protect uh, screen. So really looking forward to putting this up. It comes with plenty of connectors and I think clips and everything and, and bands to hook it up. So I'm going to find a spot to hook it up and see how that goes. But just wanted to show that off to you guys as well. But there goes the unboxing. Thank you so much for watching that. Hope you enjoyed that and you got a nice look 
into uh, what you'd be getting. And now uh, let's get back to the review. And alright guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing. They give uh, some really cool stuff with there. I really like the uh, the, the case that it's uh, packed in. But uh, now I want to jump right into the video review. Show you guys what this thing's all about. What it looks like uh, as best my camera uh, quality can show. And uh, yeah, let's get into that right now as well. Alright guys, so we are down in my basement. Now I'm going to zoom out really quick. And uh, I want to show you where I put the screen. Now just so you guys are aware, um, this basement is not set up in any way for a film screen as you can see one thing i wanted to note i wasn't going to show this off but i wanted to note this the only wall that i had room for to put this on um it's a hundred inch screen was uh in my basement on the main wall and uh and as you can see wallpaper uh is behind it okay and that is going to affect the viewing experience for me um not a ton but enough and you know this has nothing to do with vancayo their screens even though the screen is a little thin i just want you to be aware if you guys are going to purchase a screen like this and you don't have a wall that has, uh, you know, just a plain either white or gr uh, light gray background, you will probably run into this issue as well. You can see the pattern and I'm going to point it out as well uh, while I show off some of the clips I'm going to show you from the film. This right here is my insanely, insanely super ghetto setup. I was unaware uh, of where I was going to show this off. I really did not know where I was going to show uh, or be able to, to test this out. Uh, one thing I want to show up before I uh, before I forget right here. Okay, now in a lot of projectors, the focus feature is right here where this is, but also the keystone feature is usually right here uh, behind it or somewhere close to it. The keystone is going to be right here, your keystone adjustment. It even lights up, especially when it's in the dark. I was unaware this was a big issue for me at first until I watched and did some research. So thankfully I found that out. It's big, big, big help. Otherwise you're gonna have issues with a uh, blur. Now I also want, I'm gonna show off to you guys the sound of the projector uh, the, from the speakers of the projector themselves. And then also um, I found a couple Bose speakers. They're wired unfortunately, but a couple Bose speakers that really 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 change the sound of this and uh, make it like a full-on theater experience. So first and foremost, I want to show off uh, with the films that I'm going to be showing. I wanted some variety, okay? So first and foremost, Trolls World Tour because this is an animated film. I wanted to show off another film that was with uh, beautiful cinematography. This is A24's Waves. Of course, a superhero film. Uh, this is the 4K and the Blu-ray. Uh, this is not a 4K pro uh, supported projector, so I'm going to show you guys the Blu-ray. I just didn't know where the Blu-ray of Aquaman was. And then I want to show you guys a uh, black and white Criterion, um, just so you can get an idea of the black and white and how everything looks, whether uh, it's crisp wise and color wise and everything. So that is, uh, that's going to be the lineup of a couple of clips that I show off to you guys. Hopefully I don't get slammed with copyright issues. All right, guys. So here we go. Uh, again, first and foremost, I wanted to show you guys uh, what the menu looks like, because that is important. A lot of people want to know what uh, we're dealing with. So the first setting uh options that we have here is for picture uh, right at the top you have picture mode I have it personally set to user you, you can adjust the contrast the brightness the color sharpness etc um, or you can have it on vivid you can have it on standard uh, you can have it on soft or back to user color temperature they have medium warm uh, user which again you adjust they have uh, cool uh, where are we? Or uh, back to user so a few options there aspect ratio you can adjust it uh, I currently have it on Auto. You do 4.3, 16.9, uh, zoom one, zoom two, just scan, uh, panorama, or I like to again keep it on auto. Uh, projector, uh, projection direction. Front is obviously the the one that I think most people are going to want, but you have options. We're going to move over to sound and uh, the sound options. You have uh, sound mode. You can keep it on uh, music, movie, which is what I'll keep it on. Sports or user or standard. Um, now I'm going to keep mine on movie balance. You could adjust the balance. You have audio, uh, auto volume on or off surround sound. You could have it off, uh, SRS true surround XT, uh, or uh, regular surround. And then what's really cool here is you also get a little sleep timer. So in case you fall asleep, you'd like to set this options. You have the OSD language, which obviously, I mean, I'm going to use English restore factor default blending. I keep on middle OSD duration, blue screen, which I'm not exactly sure what that does. And, uh, there's software update right there. So that is the menu. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the first film and I'm going to show you guys what we're dealing with. This is Aquaman again. First, I want to show you guys the coloring, and then I'm going to let you hear the sound of the uh the the projector itself and then i will show you what it sounds like with the uh side uh bose audio that i have we are muted right this second uh i'm going to show you guys this is at volume 100 there are too many casualties we have to stop fighting now i'll find my father 
So you can see it's really not that bad. It's pretty good actually, especially if you're uh, you're sitting right up front. Um, I don't think you'll really have an issue if you're sitting right next to it. But now I want to go ahead and I want to show you how it sounds with the Bose. <laughs> So there you have it guys that is aquaman the the oranges the greens the blues very very nice and beautiful colors all right guys so i have waves on now uh this again is a24 a phenomenal film if you haven't seen it uh very underrated sorry just had to throw that in there this film has gorgeous gorgeous cinematography the brights are pretty bright uh the darks are they're Honestly, they're pretty dark. I, I really like how it is. The only issue uh, that I'd say is that the screen itself could be brighter. Uh, it, it does come out brighter in the, uh, the in the camera itself. Uh, it could be brighter in person as well. The dark scenes are a little dark. Obviously, the farther away that you have the screen, uh, you're gonna have lose some uh, quality, but it's it still holds up. I'm, I'm a good, I don't even know, 15 feet away from the screen and it's doing its thing right now. Um, let's go ahead and let's play something else. So next up, I'm gonna be showing you a couple clips from uh, the Criterion Collection. One of my favorite releases, this is uh, 12 Angry Men. And I wanted to give you guys an idea of how it looks with uh, black and white. Look at this, guys. Look at how beautiful it looks. Again, this is a, a, uh, spread out to a 100-inch projector screen right now. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Couple skip arounds. Really, really nice. I mean, look at that, guys. Come on. Finally, I'm going to put in the Trolls movie so you guys can see how an animated film looks and you're not going to be disappointed. And all right, guys. So here is Trolls World Tour. Let's jump through a little bit. Show you guys some of the color. There is Branch and Poppy. Beautiful everything looks great i'll show you just a couple more clips here uh just something with some some beautiful vivid color and once again i'll just turn on the bows just so you can hear how it sounds let's show you guys uh there you go listen max volume trolls tried to steal our strings steal your strings that that's not what it said in our scrapbooks all right guys so there you have it just quick little clips honestly uh i don't want to get in trouble with copyright issues uh but i wanted to show off stuff that you guys are going to know stuff that you guys are going to play and not just like random you know what i'm trying to say i just didn't want to show off something that was just made to show off i want to show off something that uh, my movie lovers are going to enjoy so all right guys that just about does it um i hope you got a nice clear view of what this project is all about again i'm actually a pretty big fan of it i like it now this is the first time i've ever owned a projector so this is all new to me um i'm not gonna say that i'm biased towards it because i do notice it's uh, it's positives and it's flaws um for instance it's very important to to know uh that uh, it, this is not standard uh, 1080p, uh, native 1080p. This is 720p quality and you can see that with a little bit of waves and flickering when uh, the images and everything are so so up there, so intense. It does struggle a little bit. For the most part, it's really good. I tried to show off a variety of stuff for you guys so you could see what uh, different types of film look like. Again, black and white, animated, uh, superhero, just great cinematography, stuff like that. Um, just so you can get a, an overall idea of, of what we're working with. The audio on the thing itself is really not that bad, but obviously you can see uh, from what I showed you guys that it does sound a lot better if you have a surround sound or uh, external speakers that are hooked up to this. Um, I uh, th this I don't know if I mentioned this is this was hooked up uh, HDMI to my Blu-ray player. I believe I did, um, but just in case I didn't, there you go. And uh, uh, another thing, guys, the Keystone really really important to know about. So if you guys do have issues with that, you can adjust it. As far as the uh, the sound of the fan itself, it really didn't sound too bad. It's not that loud, uh, especially if you have the volume all the way up on the machine itself. You don't really notice the fan that much. Uh, but if you have the external speakers, you're not going to notice the fan at all, or if you keep it a little bit behind you. But overall, honestly, really good. I, I think if you you guys are looking for a projector and you're looking to get that movie theater experience from a budget projector's point of view this thing goes for around like 110 on amazon right now anywhere between like 110 and 140 so it's really not that bad um if you guys have the setup for it and you are really itching to get back into the movie theaters this is the perfect time for something like that because a lot of theaters i'm in new york city my theaters are still closed so this has provided me with such great experience i honestly i really do recommend it um i don't know if i have i don't really have a rating scale at this point but I, i'm i was really enjoying this one i do recommend it to you guys and uh if you have it please let me know what you thought of it. If there's anything that I forgot uh, to go over, please ask me in the comments. Uh, any other questions you guys have, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to each and every one of you. I would personally love doing more videos like this because I found this a lot of fun and uh, this is just a whole cool new experience for me as well. And my family's been really digging it as well too. But all right guys, once again, feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell button for new videos being posted uh, very frequently. Again, I'm trying to really get back into the grind and uh, I really appreciate having you each uh, all around me. And that sounds weird. Uh, thank you guys for being around. I Okay, let's go. As always, guys, I'm Danny. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I hope you're all staying safe and sound, healthy and loved and warm. 
and comfortable. I don't know. All right, guys, take care. I'm Danny. Have a great day. Peace.